This video is sponsored by Bose, makers of the acclaimed Bose Aviation Headset 10, and by Weatherworks, delivering portable, highly accurate, localized weather information to pilots throughout the contiguous U.S. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting from Sun and Fun, uh, and I'm here with Eric Hathaway of, of uh, Zerion Avionics, and we're going to talk about a new product that uh, Zerion has introduced. First of all, let's look at the original product that's called the Zerion Oracle, which is a fully digital uh, engine monitoring system now you, uh, for single engines, and now you've added uh, a new product called the CRM2120 for piston twins. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, thank you, Paul. The CRM2120, or Cockpit Resource Management System, allows uh, owners of legacy piston engine aircraft to replace their twin engine engine instruments, uh, primary situation awareness as far as the engine goes. It gives them the opportunity to put all of their engine instrumentation into a single area in the panel to reduce the scan time, to increase level of safety, and really bring additional information that they haven't had available at this point. Now this is this is what the original Oracle looked like, and the, it looks like the add-on section is down below. Can you explain what the symbology is here? Sure. What we've done in the upper screen or in the upper section of the CRM 2120 is we have manifold pressure, prop RPM, and fuel flow, and the signature arcs that Zerion has developed. Center section being the engine analyzer. But what we've really done is added a secondary screen, which allows constant. Uh, regulation and moder monitoring of oil pressure, oil temperature, and meter, as well as your percent horsepower and so forth here, without having to remove from the screen the primary engine analyzer portion. So uh, if I'm looking at this correctly, we have the left engine, the right engine, left engine, the right engine, and we have oil pressure, amps, and oil temperature. That's correct. I see. And, and what, are, what are these uh, bar graphs down here? Well, this is a new addition to the Oracle engine management system, which is primary fuel quantity monitoring. This will be an add-on or a retrofit for our current customers of the single engine Oracle system, and it provides the ability now to replace your primary original fuel gauges. And we're excited to bring that to the market. Uh, now, did I understand you correctly to say that this is approved for removal of all the original engine gauges? That is correct. It's not approved at this time. We're working through this, the FAA service certification process. Uh, again, this is based off of the single engine system, the Oracle CRM2100, which has been approved both TSO and STC for all primary use. So you're able in your single engine piston aircraft at this time with the Zerion product to remove all of your original engine gauges. Based on that certification and that original networked architecture, the twin engine pilots will now have an option for the first time to remove all of their primary engine instrumentation and have a full solid state system. And where are you with the certification program on this? Well, fortunately, this ends up, because we have based this system off of our networked architecture, it's a very much a streamlined process for us to certify this product. We've got a level of redundancy that we weren't able to provide in single engine aircraft because of space constraints with two systems or two displays. And we've incorporated two entirely independent systems into a single enclosure that then then interface with our dual or two engine interface units which are mounted out in each nacelle. So okay. it provides a very, very good opportunity for a simple installation. And how much will this cost? The retail price suggested at this point is going to be around 13000 and that will include all the necessary probes, sensors, cables, hardware, the two respective engine interface units, and the display unit. And uh, we should clarify that that includes both units, not just the add-on. That is correct. That includes both units, which is part of one enclosure. We do have a secondary mechanical version, which is what you see depicted next to it here, which really provides a second level of option for the twin engine owner, depending on the age of the aircraft and the original configuration. And when will this be available? We expect this to be available around the end of this year. Okay, thanks for talking with us. I appreciate and it. And thanks for watching. Thank you.